let's talk about line integral a little bit. Suppose you have a smooth curve like C. Definition. If F is defined on a smooth curve, smooth curve like C, given by, so here you have x equals to xt and y equals to yt, and t belongs to a closed interval a to b. Then the line integral of f the line integral of function f along this smooth curve c is defined as integral of f of x and y ds over curve c which is equal to integral a to b of f of x t y t and the length of this curve which is defined as the square root of as you learned before dx dt to the second plus dy dt to the second dt okay Give us an example. Take a look at this example here. The example says, evaluate the line integral of function two plus x squared y along curve C and curve C is the upper half of unit circle. upper half of unit circle. Very well. We're going to calculate this integral. So it means that we need to convert x and y into functions of t, x of t, y of t. Just note that since c is some part of circle, it's better to use polar coordinates, but note that here you have a unit circle. X is equal to cosine T and Y is equal to sine T. Remember that DX, DT, or just DX is going to be negative sine T, DT and DY, is cosine t dt. We have all the information that we need. We just need to plug them into the integral. So the line integral becomes integral. My t or my theta is going to be bounded by its upper half unit circle. So you're looking at theta or t ranges between zero to pi. From zero to pi, it stops here. So your t or theta is going to be bounded by zero to pi two plus x squared, which is cosine to the second power t times sine t, and ds, which is going to be length of the curve. You're finding ds, which is the length of this curve, which is square root of dx dt, negative sine t to the second plus dy dt, cosine t to the second dt. But from pre-calculus, you know this is just one.
this is equal to integral 0 to pi 2 plus cosine squared t sine t 1 dt. This is elementary calculus. You saw how to compute this integral. This guy is equal to the integral of 2 dt, which is 2t, 0 to pi, plus integral 0 to pi, cosine squared t, sine t dt. For this one, you can use mu sub. Mu is cosine t, and mu is negative sine t dt. So you can just convert this into a negative sign, and you have your negative cosine, and this guy becomes 2t, 0 to pi, and here you have negative integral of u squared, or negative a third, u cubed cosine to the third of t, 0 to pi. Perfect. So if I plug in pi here, I get 2 pi minus, if I plug in here pi to cosine, I get negative 1 to the third minus 1 to the third, and this guy becomes 2 pi plus 2 thirds. You can use calculator to approximate using a calculator. But for the exam, for the homework, you can leave it as it is.